Welcome to Montenegro. We are here in Couture for one day, here to show you the best things you can do, whether you are hopping off of a cruise ship at a very popular port, or you're just here visiting. There are so many things to do, from mountains to over 100 beaches to a very charming European old town. We're gonna show you around it all. We can't wait. Let's go see. The walled portion of Kator has three gates to enter. We started our day at the most popular entrance, Sea Gate, built in the 16th century. Our day in Kator began with one of our favorite activities, getting lost in the old town, making our way towards River Gate, and enjoying the city waking up along the way. Montenegro is a relatively new country. It gained its independence from Serbia in 2006. Kator is a Venetian walled city full of medieval architecture and it is quite a similar vibe to Dubrovnik, uh, though the walls are crumbling much more than in the city of Dubrovnik, so you actually can't walk the full perimeter of the walls. While it is definitely a busy city, it is not near as busy as Split or Dubrovnik was. We also did not intend to walk the walls, but I feel like we got up here and now I don't know how to get down, besides going back to where we started. It's a really beautiful view of the entire city. Yeah, I recommend the walls, even if it was an accident. Let's see if we can go through. <laughs> Don't like that. We love a walled city. If you've seen our other videos from Dubrovnik or even from Derry or London Derry, Northern Ireland, and you just get a, such a unique perspective of the history and also of the city itself. Plus, unlike Dubrovnik and some other cities, it's free to roam the walls here, so why not? It is hot. <laughs> you are closer to the sun. To give you an idea of how old parts of the wall are, this part was built in 1470 by the Venetians to strengthen the city's defense. I bought some water at the top, which is probably overpriced, but I really appreciate his entrepreneurial spirit. Also, I'm wet and like losing all my, the water that was in my body. <laughs> There's apparently the city of a thousand cats here. Got just all the way up. <laughs> Megan would definitely be a cat person. And here is Southgate, so it's fairly large and impressive gate. And next to South Gate, there are stairs up to the wall. So if you want to get to the wall, here's one of the ways. So the South Gate has entrance after entrance. You can still see the counterweights and the wheels on this one, which is pretty cool. It's definitely well defended. As soon as you walk into the walls, there are dozens if not hundreds of cafes everywhere. So you definitely have your pick. I 
was told Montenegro is known for their espresso, so had to stop for a little espresso break. Came with this little fly spotter. I always love espresso cups. I feel like a giant. <laughs> Megan thinks that I am way too trusting with the fountains everywhere we go, but I just feel like it strengthens my immune system. <laughs> Montenegro is about the size of Connecticut. However, it has an unbelievable 117 beaches. Okay, so we've done the city and just in time, I think for several cruise ships to pull in and loads of people pouring out, let's get out of here and take you somewhere else super unique. Excuse me, sir, do you know where we are? Always, again, I always know where I'm at. Look for the sign that says Montenegro Submarine. This one, if you want to sit on the sun deck, it's okay, just take off the shoes. Right here, thank you. Thank you. It's hot. Ow! It's so hot. I thought he was tricking me into getting on a submarine. I'm glad that I'm not. Our seaward tour leads us first to two islands, the first being the island of St. George, which we were not able to dock at and get out and look around, but you can see it here. The second we were able to, and it is Our Lady of the Rocks, and it has a pretty unique story to it. Goodbye, boat. <laughs> first stop, Our Lady of the Rocks. The island began as a pile of rocks. Stories tell us that two fishermen discovered an image of the Virgin Mary on a rock there on July 22nd of 1452. They believed that this was good luck, so every time fishermen passed by, they dropped rocks off as an offering. Over time, this island became larger and larger, and eventually the tiny Orthodox chapel you see here now was built on the site. So every 22nd of July at sunset, the community members come out take their boats and throw rocks into the sea in honor of this sacred day. Okay, so this is submarine tunnel. There is three pieces. This is middle one. This was like a garage for the submarines and the warships. Now it's not in use anymore. You can see this metal doors. This was for the camouflage. So when you close like this, to look like rocks from up, you know, from the aeroplane or helicopter or something. That was dead. It was ex-prison, prison in some part of the history. Now there is hotel, seven-star hotel. Okay, so this is Blue Cave. We'll now enter inside, that you can see how it looks from inside. This was the part we were looking forward to the most on this boat tour. As you can see, the blue cave is stunning with its iridescent blue waters coming from the way the sunlight enters in through the cave. But it was definitely one of those expectation meets reality kind of moments. <laughs> Blue Cave is only accessible by boat, but as you can see, it is a pretty popular destination. So as beautiful as it was, we were kind of excited to get out and go for a swim. Two. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yep. Hello. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> hey, you made it. <laughs> 
Okay, one, two, three. Whoa! We definitely recommend going on a boat tour here in Couture. We will drop the link to the company beneath this video here for you. Also, if Montenegro is not already on your bucket list, it definitely should be. We've been pleasantly surprised. Now we are off to the infamous Red Party on Virgin Voyages. You can find the link to the video here, and we'll see you on the next one. Goodbye, kitty. Oh, did you see something you like? Thank you for starring in our video. You can watch it on YouTube later. Andrew and Megan. Make sure you subscribe. Okay, have a nice day. <laughs> oh. <laughs>